So that leaves just one more thing for us to do, and that's to head outside and go meet up with Natty Onai in Lower Hogsfield, which is an area that we haven't seen yet. It's a hamlet off on the outskirts of town. Dude, look at this. We've got the Quidditch Stadium over there on the right. This is going to be our gamekeeper's hut over here. This is where Hagrid's going to be in quite some time. Can we go inside at all by chance? Level 2 lock. Shoot. Okay. Oh. That's the Rebellion. Beast's classroom. I really feel like the game is starting to open up a little bit. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at these views. Are you kidding me? That is absolutely magnificent. You can see that bridge. Like old rickety bridge that we... Or not we, but Harry Potter will eventually... Or I, is it Neville that starts the chain reaction? In the final movie? Akia. Spoiler alert. Ooh. Can't get this one? Got it. There it is. But yeah, I feel like the game's starting to open up. We're starting to, to be able to actually, you know, branch outside of the castle a little bit. I'm excited to go explore these lands and discover poacher camps and save beasts and things. Oh my goodness, dude. Stop it. That is just insane. There's the bridge right there. We're going to be heading this way, though. But yeah, we should be able to hopefully get our room of requirement here pretty soon. Be able to start brewing potions, growing things. Oh, is th this is the gamekeeper's hut. That was the classroom. This is the hut down here. You can see his little pumpkin patch and stuff. Revelio. Is there anything we can find in here? Can we go inside? Ah, we can go inside. Dude. One day Haggard and Fang are going to be in here. Go ahead and take that. 40 galleons. Get this. Is there a place? Yes. Groundskeeper's tools. One might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishings for a cozy hut as large as the occupant may, may need. That's Moon that we saw when we were going to Hogsmeade for the first time, the groundskeeper. I should investigate. Who? Investigate what? I think there's some sort of a cave oh. down here. Oh. Hello. What the heck is this? Pork lump juice? I don't think we're going to be able to interact with this yet. Something to do with this. Can we Accio that, maybe? Accio. We have to incendio it? Oh, goodness. Lumos. Found a chest down here. Black Bowler hat. And that's it? Lumos. I think that's it. Revelio. Little Revelio action, that's it. Okay. So it's just a uh, a little loot thing. I wasn't sure what we were getting into there. I was a little bit nervous. But we made it. What is this? Huh. There's a lot to uncover here, not gonna lie. Some leeches that we're gonna be able to pick up on the side. See more over here. I'm I'm just gonna collect what we can find down here. We haven't been outside of the castle much. It's kind of a nice little field trip. Thought I, I see some bubbles in the lake. What do we think this is? I'm not gonna lie, this makes me a little nervous. Azure Niffler's Scarf. Okay. Yeah, diving down into the lake doesn't really seem like the, the best thing in the world to do. So that's where we're meeting Natty. I'm going to grab some slugs over here. It also looks like there might be a potential side mission on the edge of this dock. Might I beseech you for some assistance? What do you need? Hello. 
Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? I mean, we've been in it. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Interesting. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us. If frankly. you gotta tell people about but it, then I don't I think. I plan you... to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Okay. I have no idea what an what astrolabe exactly is. is an astrolabe. It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating so device. Like a little... Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I have no idea what a furlong is. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. No time like the present. So we're just gonna look. Her ripples in the water. I see one right there. I did swimming out into the deep depths of it. Isn't my idea of fun. We got a couple of spots out here, though. There's. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Gonna be some loot for sure. Might be some other stuff that we don't actually want, though. The whole underwater sound when you can hear, like, the bubbles and things is. Not the most comforting. We haven't found it yet. We got three pieces of clothing. Hopefully this is it. Oh, there's one more over here. You see that glowing bulb on the horizon? Or is that just me? Pinch Smidley family astrolabe. Uh, oh, that's... I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. That's the thing that we set on fire, I think. Yeah, that's the same spot we had. Okay, job well done. And we didn't get attacked by any mer people or anything. Any giant squids, Loch Ness monsters, anything like that. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? We could I ask did. for a price? Come I on now. It makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. 
Thank you so much for doing this for me, and for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Can you imagine I found her family Thank heirloom? Again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Found her family heirloom and then asked her to pay me for it? Dude, what kind of a person would do that? That is just terrible. Looks like we might have a chest here. Okay, got a saber. Dude, there are so... I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Many side quests. We gotta get to our main Pardon quest me. too, but... Is everything alright? So what's Hardly. going on here. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. Or They're Arnie. You. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal or associated with Gringotts. It's going to get to the grave. my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work and it will be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'll keep an eye out for you. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. I want to go help Arnie. I'm a little mad. Rebellion. There's got to be so many things out in this forest, dude. I don't even know if we really want to mess with it all that much. I don't know how much we want to get off the beaten path. Accio. Rebellion. But we do have stuff out here. Lots of moonstone. We're acquiring quite a bit of that, so hopefully... Accio. Gonna need that at some point. Rebellion. A Britian black scale is a large dragon that can grow to over nine meters in length. The large rough scale, originally belonging to one of these beasts, is one of the prized possessions that Archie Bickle keeps in his hideout. Interesting. What the heck is this? Excuse me? Thornback shooters? Potato. We do have our finishing move, but I'm going to save it. Some sort of a spider. We've got a yak out here. How you doing, buddy? You seem chill. I'm hoping this was a good idea. Password on the right track. I'll take XP all day. Fiends. The forest has eyes, man. The forest definitely has eyes. Rebellion. So we're going this way. I'm going to grab some of these, and then it looks like we've got our first ever bandit camp. I didn't. This must be it. I'm going to put this on circle. And we could come in here silently. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. I will regret not joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. I killed that traitor arm when we took his car. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Petrificus Titanus. I've never seen a sword like it. I think we might be able to use that to our advantage. Is that getting him to 
Move? He's not moving. to get up there. I'm just gonna go around then. We could take out the other two and then we could finish off the last one at a later time. One less human to worry about. Are you kidding me? Finish this guy off. He's down. How many of you are there? Incendio. Using Incendio. Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Let's try to take down as many as we can. He's done. So there's a lot more here than we originally thought. Got to be careful about the crossbows. I'm trying to get to those. Let's go. He's dead. Gonna be able to get up top. Spelliarmus, take him down. There are so many of them. Hold on, we're gonna need a uh, a yellow spell. We're gonna put this on on this. Now we can get these guys up in the air. Not today. This is another one of the Merlin trials we could use right here. Hold on. Just keep watching out. We're gonna be fine. Incendio. There's Incendio on him, beautiful. We can use Expelliarmus on him. Levioso. Woo! Almost the last one there. We've got one more. Looks like maybe outside of the camp. Up top. Expelliarmus. I don't even know how to get up there. He's the one that we couldn't get before. I'm just gonna hit him with some spells from a distance. Let's something. go. Okay. Now to free arms cards. Malasweet. Do we have more Malasweet? We do. Nice. Okay. Interesting. So this one's a bit different. I'm not exactly Rebellion. sure what... These, maybe? Levioso. Can I bring him? Akio. Okay, that's one piece of it, but we're gonna find the other ones. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to arm. Well, that's good, but where are we gonna get the other balls from? We need the other balls to be able to complete this challenge. Revelio. See a chest up there. We're gonna go grab that. I love that he enchanted the carts to always follow him home and go back to him. Oh, we've got more balls right here. Okay. Back here. So we could bring those over there. That's the second one. And then there's one more Rebellion. outside right there that we're gonna have to find. Can we bring this to us? Back here. I don't know what to do with that. Okay. Oh. That actually worked. Be able to get up top here. Do we think there could be balls outside? We're so close. Oh, they're right there. Nice. And this is the last piece of the Merlin's trial. So if we use Incendio, Incendio. it should burn the plants. And then if we use Accio. Accio, it should be able to lead them over here. Can they get up that wall? We can. And that should complete the trial.
Revelio. They do it? They might not have done it. You gotta stand next to it to make sure it takes them Let's tricky. go! Alright. Dude, that was actually like kind of intense. It was kind of a tough fight and Man. A lot to uncover and in, in just one little enemy encampment. But hey, I think uh, I think we got all the chests. I think we took care Revenia. of all the business we need to take care of, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Not really sure what that's for. Okay. Sweet. So, we're going to go back to Arn. Let him know the good news. Arn, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I, have to, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good in wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. There's no trouble. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. He's such a <gasps> sweetheart. You know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. I like it. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Okay. And that's a side mission complete? Quest complete? <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. You too. I've had a day. Natsai. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I feel like we could be honest with them. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before and we came to Hogwarts. Too much. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form Said of ancient magic. Said way too much. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Hollow are the reason my mother and I left Matibililand. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I mean, I'm Good. in. Rookwood and Hollow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Okay, so we're going to be... Be on your guard. Organizing evidence to bring to an oar to hopefully put a stop to Theophilus. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Uh oh. Got a stranger in danger. Got bandit camps all over the place. Goblins being attacked. To oars flying in. They must have come this way. Think. Dark wizards attacking. I have no idea who it is you think I might have seen. Innocence. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. 
wouldn't he? Students, you can't be sick. <clears throat> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid. Okay, here we go. Let me. I'm gonna throw uh, Expelliarmus on. Expelliarmus. Good night to him. Oh my goodness! That is my favorite spell that we do. Oh, they're coming in. Look at that. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Okay. Ashwater Duelist. The collection section of your field guide has been updated with new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies such as their weaknesses to certain spells. She's about to attack us. So we're going to go into our collections. Go to enemies. There are 69 different types of enemies in this game. Scouts. Unscrupulous wizards have not mastered shield charms. They are vulnerable to all sorts of attacks. This is in a duelist. Among the quicker of Rookwood's agents, these witches will surprise their opponents with back-to-back -back attacks. Their powerful reductor curse cannot be blocked by shield charms, but interrupting the cast with a severing charm will spin them to the point of losing control and hitting one of their own gang. Now, I don't think we have any... Severing charms, do we? I'm not going anywhere with you. To be honest, I'm not sure. She's already down, though. Okay. Just taking care of business, baby. Now, who are you? What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Nora Treadwell. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave She's me a researching book when Merlin. we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Interesting. I can see why you're so interested in Maybe Merlin. we can take on these trials. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. So if we get some mallow sweet and bring it to the... swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The mallow sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Don't mind if I do. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. 
Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. See that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. Incendio! I'm curious about nope. these pyres. Hmm. Accio! No. I don't see. I mean, do we have to light them? Do we have to be up really close? Incendio. The flames make the pyre sink. Are we changing anything over there? No. Okay. Revelio. What did that get for us, though? Just a pergola? I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. So many mysterious little, like, multi-piece things. And be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. So we have our first trial of Merlin complete. There's Rebellion. nothing... Nothing that we can see from it, though. Obviously, the more of those we get done, I'm sure more is going to be uncovered and probably a pretty good reward at the end of that. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Feek. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to, especially Professor Black. I love this bridge, man. This is so cool. When Harry and Lupin were walking across it, ah, oh. stall. Honestly, kind of a little ratchet. Ooh, hello. Revelio. Grab ourselves another field guide page. The Well of Four Beasts. Some students believe that a wish made over the Well of Four Beasts, whether near the Thestral, Griffin, Chimera, or Hippogriff, will come true for the one who has gained the trust of any of the four. That's pretty cool. Then we also have a note. Scrope knows about that book you found. Is it missing something? Scrope does not believe it is safe to speak out in the open. Scrope has left another note across the bridge among the circle of rocks. Take care. Tell no one about this. Scrope? Who is Scrope? So Scrope is some sort of a house elf. And he's leading us back out away from the castle. In search of notes. Revelio. Oh, I see it. The question is, can I get to it? I don't think so. We're going to have to uh, bring this over yonder. And grab that. Almost there. Head for the pumpkins. Just down from the stone circle. Look inside one of them. You might be able to help poor broken-hearted pumpkin scrope. Ah, I think I know just the place. It's a good thing we've already ventured down here earlier in the episode. Scrope is broken-hearted. We're going to want to break these open. <laughs> I mean, I feel kind of bad. I don't want to destroy all the pumpkins, but there it is. All right. Took half of them. The young Slytherin must be exceptionally curious by now. Meets Grope at the water's edge by the broken Down docks. Down to the water's edge. 
Hmm. This had better not be a trick. Broken docks are back this way. Back by our little secret passageway that we found. Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. Been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mention the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Hmm. Um... <laughs> Undermining the headmaster and getting something in return. Continue. Perfect. Oh, Scrope does not intend to undermine the headmaster. In fact, Scrope wants to surprise him. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. Those are the pages we're looking she for. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honour her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help, but when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. So the Black family might be involved with this as well. Interesting. How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. Well, that's good to know. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black family crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. And why are what you missing you here? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. I mean, good heart, I wouldn't take that ear it from you, but... this may help us both. This is what I it is, I guess. It. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast and place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Okay. Oh, is Scrope this... will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages. And the ring. Never mind. Revelio. We have that giant, like, a hole in the ground back behind us. I thought this might be related to that, but it's in front of us. What? Is glowing red right there. Okay. Oh my god! Alright! A stone back dug bomb! Okay! Incendio. I do not like that thing. Got a Dugbog tongue? That was a level 13 too, dude. Stronger than we are. I did, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed in that cutscene, we do have some new glasses. Little half moon looking things. To be honest, not my favorite. Don't really look that great, but... We gotta get after it here. Accio. Come on. A little early on that trap. It's a bit unfortunate because we cannot block any of these attacks. We cannot parry at all. We want to make sure we're picking up all this magic. Holy cow. If we could fill our magic entirely, then we might be able to actually take some of these guys out. Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Dodge. Incendio. Dodge. Oh my goodness, dude. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna see if we come over to, to this thing. Honestly, did not do that much for us. We've almost got a couple of them down. This guy over here. 
finish him off. Let me get all these. Then we can use a finisher. He's down. Anything that's any sort of a special attack definitely does a lot more damage than anything else. Oh my goodness. Okay. These things are uh, bad news. But we got them. All right. Gotta keep going. I hope there's no more of those wherever we're going. Into this creepy cave in the side of the castle. All right. Got a painting of a giant squid down here. Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. <laughs> Somebody must be hungry? We look like an old lady with these glasses, but they've got like a really good bonus, um, I think offense to them, so it's not really Rebellion. something I'm gonna pass up on. So we've got a Apollonia Black's journal here. Could it be a visitor? Just a little concerning. Oh! Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Ah, the name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. And you were beheaded How by the blacks? How did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah, sorry to say I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas. Was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I would like those, please. I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map. To what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? And I'll show you where to find the pages. You got beheaded in the Forbidden Forest and you want me to go there. I think I could guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, lightheaded. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. No breezes around here. Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. <laughs> Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. Interesting. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton. They're yours for the taking. I didn't even think about that. We're gonna have to go find his body. Okay. Um. Revelio. Just a little bit concerning. Oh. Forest. Wand. Candle. Archway. That looks like Hogsmeade. Hmm. A map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Interesting. Well, Scrope, I'm sorry to say that I think our uh, friendship ends here. You're not going to be very stoked that I wasn't able to get your ring. I'm sorry, buddy. Wish there was more I could do. Hello, Scrope. 
Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black family ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Well, Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. Appreciate you, Scrope. I do feel bad. I wish we could have helped him out. 